Hey, this is Mrs. Arsenault. You have chosen Mother's Day paper flower vase. Um, so what you need to do for this is we need to have, and hopefully your dad will help you instead of your mom, but that's okay if she does because I've always helped Jackson with his. But you need some kind of either cardstock as your background, or I even need to take, you know, got in a shoe box where it's a, the, um, a cardboard, or here I had a canvas um, sheet, or even a board. Um, but I'm gonna do just a regular piece of white cardstock. Um, and then to make a flower, I'm just gonna show you one kind of flower. You could probably Pinterest all kinds of different flowers, but this is an easy flower that it looks great and it's 3D. So what you need, I'm just gonna do one, and you could do as many as you want in a vase. You need four strips that are about, let's say, I mean, they're about four inches long. Um, you don't want them too short because otherwise you're not gonna be able to, what we're gonna end up doing is bending them like this. So it has to be, you know, like four inches by about a quarter inch, a little, but um, you can cut those. I actually have a cutter, so it made it easier for me. Um, and then you need a strip for the um, stem. And then you can cut out a couple leaves. For that um, you'll want something for the center you can either cut a circle like that'd be the center of it or I had these little buttons you can get buttons you can find anything that was round for the center of the flower flowers have the same color petals so that's why there's four of these all the same color and so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this glue stick and we're just gonna make a dot like I'm just gonna, I mean it's purple so you can see it I'm just gonna make a dot like in the center I'm gonna take mine. Now my paper is white, is red on one side and white on the other. So if I wanna see the red, I'm gonna to have to put the red face down. So I'm gonna do one face down in the center like this, straight across. Then I'm gonna put glue here in the center again of this one and put one straight up. So you're making like a plus sign. See, now again, my color is face down. Now if yours is red on both sides or whatever color on both sides, then you just, it doesn't even matter. So then I'm gonna put one at a slanted line like that. So I have one that's going up and down, one that's going across, and one that's slanted. Again, you're trying to make sure they're centered. And then I'm gonna put the last one slanted. It kind of looks like a big flower right now, or, or almost like it's gonna be a snowflake. But then what we're gonna do is take each end and bend them to the center. So I'm gonna put a little glue. Every time you're putting this glue stick in the center, I'm gonna put a little glue. I'm going to bend one of them in. It doesn't even matter which one. Bend the other one. Well, they come in till they touch each other. So look how I bent this in. So I took it like this, folded it over, and brought it to the center. So we're gonna do that with each of them. Again, putting a little bit of glue in the center. Bring it around, put it in the middle, press it down with your finger. So look, I have two of them done so far. And now I'm gonna do it, put a little bit more glue and do it again with the others, the ones that are remaining. You know, if you don't get them exactly the same, um, you know, like centered the same, then they're going to not look like the same length of your little petals. Again, the important part is just putting a little bit of glue again, right in the center of it every time you put in one because it has to have glue to stick. So look, here is my flower and it sticks up. Look how they're sticking up. So they have, it's kind of a, like a loop at the end and then comes back to the middle. And again, you can take a button, you can take anything on. I just cut a little red, uh, yellow circle out that I'm gonna stick in the center of this one just so you can see it. Awesome. Then I'm gonna take my stem, put glue on my stem. See, I'm going to across it like this. You don't always wanna put it on the white paper because then if, if you have glue everywhere rather than just sticking it. So I'm gonna stick that on my flower like that. And then I have two leaves to add. Well, actually let's wait on the leaves because we want to um, make it like it's in a vase. Now you can take white paper and make your own design, which I'm gonna show you the one I finished before, or like I had this, this, this design already on a paper. So I drew on the back like just a little vase. I'm gonna cut it out. You can do any kind of vase you want. You might see a vase in your house and you're like, oh, I like that look of that one, and do that one. Or this is just like a little kind of oval vase. So look, nothing to it. it has a little bit of design because of my um, the uh, paper that I had. I'm gonna put glue on this, the back of it, all on the back of it, or at least around the edges you always wanna do. 
like I put it under, like my flower's coming out of the vase. And then I'm gonna add the leaves because that makes it look more like a flower when it has the leaves sticking. So I'm gonna have leaves come out one side and I'll put a leaf on the other. Now this is one flower. Maybe, I mean, you can make, if you want the flower to be bigger, you make the paper longer and the strips a little thicker. And when you fold them, it's just a bigger flower. Or as you can see, when I show you my other one I did. So here's your final, a little vase. And you could write something like, to mom, I love you. Here's the one I did earlier, or I did ahead of time. It has three flowers. I did three different kind of papers. This I put a button and I had to use the liquid glue to put the buttons on there because they still aren't dry. And then I made my own little vase um, just with color going across, kind of, you know, wavy line. And then I put, I love you, mom. Um, this is a great gift. And this is something she can keep forever. She, I mean, they won't, you know, like real flowers die. And I love this. And it's, and it's 3D. So I hope it comes out well. I hope your mom loves it. Um, happy Mother's Day to your mom when you give it to her. Um, enjoy it. Share your pictures um, with the school. I hope they come out.